my name is Kyle. This, this is my Rockstar Science Production. Okay, today's lesson is going to be uh, actually part two to the scientific method. And uh, the learning standard is that students can uh, frame and refine questions, can be investigated scientifically, and generate a testable hypothesis. Uh, yes, last class was kind of an introduction to this, and we really focused on what a hypothesis was and, you know, developed procedure through good writing skills, and then try to come up with conclusions uh, based on the question, who can spit further, boys or girls, which is kind of gross, but it was pretty fun. The kids uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, There's a lot of other variables that, um, I think affected the fairness of this, such as, uh, for example, trajectory and wind speed. So uh, today we're going to take this a little bit deeper and we're going to investigate the question, uh, does having shoes on help you jump farther, or I'm sorry, jump higher than not? And uh, what we're really going to focus on today are the concept of uh, variables. Um, I found that teaching a scientific method in the past is important to kind of break it down. And so now the students have come to class, they'll have a little bit of background with hypothesis, procedure, and conclusions. We can talk about variables because um, they're a very uh, kind of a complicated, confusing thing. Uh, obviously, the control variables are ones that students will have that are the same in their experiment, manipulated or different, and the responding ones are what they will vary. I'm also going to see if the students can understand the importance of having a control group and an experimental group and uh, also think about the concept of sample size, which is maybe how many times they'll do their experiment and uh, see how mathematically they come up with their conclusions. Uh, our conclusions and data, I'm hoping that the students will make a sort of graphic representation either in a chart or in a data uh, presentation a table of some sort. And so uh, we're going to break them into groups, uh, have them share their ideas for conducting this experiment, and then carry it out. Shoes that make you jump higher? Yeah, there's shoes that make you jump. If you're wearing big shoes like mine, <laughs> Say 80. 75. Say 80. 
They get a half. 15, 16. Isn't it supposed no. to go up first? 55. Is this supposed to be done here? No.